So let's say you have an existing Java file and you want to import that into your Eclipse project. Maybe you type this up in Notepad or some other way, but you want to use it in Eclipse now. What we can do is we can make use of the import option, which is under the file menu, and we'll go ahead and say and tell Eclipse to go look for it out on our file system. Let me do you, uh, give you a demo here. So file, import, um, general, file system. So go look in the file system for a Java file. We'll click on the next button. And now we need to browse and specify where this file's at. Well, in the last uh, chapter, we had put together the Hello World example down under uh, Chapter 2 Examples. So I'll go ahead and choose the Examples uh, folder. And it gives me the option of picking which files to import in. Well, maybe I'll grab hello.java. I want to copy that from uh, the C drive intro to Java Chapter 2 Examples into this project, this my first project. So I click the little checkbox next to hello.java, but I also need to tell it where to put this thing, where to, to load it into. And so I want it under my first project, maybe in the examples package. If I click finish, you'll see that now hello.java has been copied into this project. There it is, hello.java. And so if I were to look out on the file system, I'm going to find that I have hello.java here, uh, as well as these other files that I just created. So that works great if you just have you know, a handful of individual Java files you want to load in. You can go grab them from the file system and copy them locally. Another option is that you can actually just physically copy those files into your workspace folder using File Explorer. And so uh, perhaps I can go over, I'll just do this in two windows. I'll go to my C drive, Intro to Java, Chapter 2, Examples. And we had that hello world.java that was provided for us. I'll copy that file and I'll just paste that into the folder associated with my workspace here. Uh, and so there's hello world.java. Well, Eclipse isn't going to see that immediately. Instead, what I need to do is refresh my project. And so I right-clicked on the project, and I went, scrolled down to Refresh. Or you could use the F5 key. That works, too. And it goes out and it finds on the file system that there's a new file there. So now hello world.java is also in this, this project. So if you have individual files, you can either import them from the file system, or you can copy them and then do some sort of a refresh to reload them. It looks like there's a, a refresh option off the file menu as well. I always right-click on the project, but this, this works, too. Um, here's another option. If you have an existing project that you want to load in, maybe somebody's already created an Eclipse project for you and you want to load that into your Eclipse session. Well, we can use the import option and instead of saying go to the file system to find individual Java files, we want to go look for existing projects. And so you have the choice of either pointing it at an archive file, at a zip file that might have the projects in it, or you can say, go look at, at a particular directory. Well, we happen to have on our file systems, uh, under the C drive, intro to Java, we've got all these chapter directories that actually have extra little files in them. Uh, they're hidden files. I'll have to show you those hidden files. Let me see if it'll display those for me. Um, let me see. Actually, I think it's under Organize, Folder, and Search Options. It was, yep. I want to show hidden files just so you can see them. We've created for each of our directories a couple extra little files that Eclipse knows how to work with, a dot .project and a dot .class path. Normally those aren't visible to you because they start with a dot and the file systems consider them to be hidden. But since each of our chapters have those files, you, th these basically represent projects, existing projects that we can load in. And so what I'll do is I'll say, let's browse out to our C drive and point it at the intro to Java directory. That was the thing that we had you unzip in the setup instructions. And now once we're pointing at that, we have a bunch of projects that we can load into our Eclipse session. Alternatively, if you still have the zip file 
that we talked about in the in the setup video you could just point your uh, project at that zip file just browse over to the zip and load that I've got it already unzipped to uh, this root directory so that's fine I can pick and choose what projects to load and I also have an option down here do I want to copy the projects into the workspace or do I want to just leave them where they are uh, if I click on this checkbox then all of the code all those chapters will be copied into my workspace directory if I don't click on the checkbox then the workspace will be pointing back to where these files are. It'll be pointing back to this intro to Java directory. That's fine. What'll happen is any changes I make to the files will be reflected in that same directory. And, and I'm good with that. So I'll just go ahead and not copy. But you can do it either way if you want to. I'll click Finish. And what we're going to see is off to the left, we have a bunch of projects that loaded in. So... Uh, this admin thing, an appendix, a bunch of chapters, all the way down. Chapter 2 looks like it has some problems. It's got a little red X next to it. Let's go look at it. Chapter 2 has an examples uh, package. That's where Hello and Hello World were at. Uh, has a labs package. Oh, okay, yeah, so in the last set of exercises, we had you create a name.java that didn't match the name of the class. And so that's where the problem is. That doesn't compile, and that was intentional in that set of exercises. Um, what I'll do, I guess, is I'll just rename this name.java for now just so it doesn't complain to me anymore. By saving it, it recompiles, and now there's no longer that problem there anymore. Uh, another thing you could do if you wanted to, if you just want to kind of focus, if all you want to do is work on Chapter 2, I could hold down the Shift key and select all of the other chapters, maybe all these other projects. I can also use the Control key and click, and right-click and close project or maybe even easier would be to select chapter two right click on it and close unrelated projects and by closing the projects if they have any problems in them those aren't going to show up in our problem area only the projects that are open are going to show there and later when I want to open a project maybe I don't need chapter two anymore I can close that project maybe I need chapter four I can just double click on it and that opens it or instead of double clicking you can right click and choose open project. Either way, either open or close it using a right click or do the double click to open it. And now we have this other project available. So here's what I'd like to have you do, is I want you on your systems to go ahead and load those existing projects into your workspace. So click on file, import, general, existing projects and workspace. Well, let me do it again, actually. I'm gonna, just, just so you can see it, I'm actually going to delete um, all the projects. I don't want to delete the contents, uh, especially because I'm having them uh, use the same file system, the uh, same directory I was already on. Now, I don't want to delete the context. I just want to delete the project locations. So I'm back to my first project. I'll do this again so you can see it. File, Import, ex General, Existing Projects and Workspace, Next. Select the root directory. We're going to browse over to the intro to Java directory. That's the one we had you unzip in the setup. And then we'll have everything checked. And it's up to you as to whether you want to copy them into the workspace or not. I suppose I'm, I'm going to leave that unchecked. And I'll simply hit finish. And that'll load up all the projects for you in your Eclipse session. So please do that on your systems. Um, if you'd rather uh, point it at the zip file rather than pointing it at the directory that you unzip to, that'll work too. Um, either way, we just want you to do an import existing projects and workspace, either choose the root directory or the archive. Okay, that's actually going to wrap it up for this chapter. Uh, the end result should be that you have some projects you can work with and hopefully you're a little more familiar and a little more comfortable with Eclipse.